Hey guys, this is my first time doing a voiceover. I always use alcohol to wipe my hands and the piece off just to make sure that there's no oils. Um, put your mask on. This stuff is literally deadly. It smells amazing, but you know, you don't want to die because then you can't make pots. So I'm basically just putting the gold onto my piece. You can't see it in this video because I couldn't see what I was filming, um, but I use the cap of the Duncan Essence to kind of like wipe a little bit of the gold and my brush into the paint that I'm using to kind of thin it out and spread it out. Kate told me to do this, I'll tag her. And basically I just kind of wipe it on so that way it looks even. If it's too thick, it'll pull away from the piece and chip when you fire it. If it's too thin, it'll turn purple. If you get any smudges on the piece, notice how I'm like very carefully holding it. Any smudges on your piece are gonna turn like purpley, which is kind of weird. Um, but as you can see, as I'm doing it, you pretty much just have to just keep an eye out. If you're painting the gold luster on shiny, so on glaze, it's gonna be shiny. If you're painting it on matte, it's gonna come out matte and not shiny, which kind of takes away from it being gold, but it's whatever you want, it's your piece. This is how it came out. Those gloppy areas, I was kind of concerned with, but if I wiped it, it would wipe it off. So I'll show you guys how it came out in the next vid video. So, as you can see, it looks kind of globby in a couple of places. The hard part about gold, at least my findings with it, is that you really don't know how it's going to come out or if you miss spots until after it comes out of the kiln. So, either way, I think it came out great. Here's the final result, and thank you so much for watching my first voiceover. <laughs>